Hey everybody, it's Keith Eamon, and in celebration of our 1,000 subscribers, thank you everyone so much by the way, I'd like to introduce to my new, one of my new shows, Let's Go King. Now for our very first episode, let me ask you the question, what do you get when a pedometer and a virtual pet have a one night stand? Answer, the D3. Now you're probably wondering why I called this show Let's Go King. Now if I initially was going to do this show idea mixed in with stuff like my past blasting episodes but i thought you know what let's keep those separate so my past blasting would be focused more on console based games or handheld devices and this show was going to be is going to be based on toys that attempt to make kids get up and go partial inspiration for the title the other inspiration um was actually when i initially was going to do this video it was during the time of pokemon go's decline and I'm going to talk a bit about some of the other toys that attempted to make kids get up and go outside, but kind of failed. Then when they introduced the show, uh, the new games that are coming out, which intertwine with Pokemon Go, <laughs> Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, I thought it's a perfect timing. Again, with the fact that we're going to hit, a, we've hit a thousand subscribers and it lines up with my 200th episode. I thought this is perfect. Best timing for it. Now, I chose this one for first because I thought, again... What better thing to start off with for our first episode than the direct competition of Pokemon, or some put it as clone, which me personally, I'm kind of in the middle, because I don't really consider po uh, um, Pokemon and Digimon s that similar. Like, they have a similar premise, which is owner and a pet, but in Pokemon, it's owner and pet I used to fight, <laughs> while Digimon, it's more uh, owner, but more partner, I would say. And, well, they're partners, basically. They they work together to, for a common goal. So when it comes to the animes, I'm kind of more lean towards Digimon. When it comes to the games, I'm like almost directly in the middle. Because there's some Digimon games I enjoy, like the World Games uh, and Digimon Rumble. And then Pokemon, I enjoyed pretty much all of them I played. I think the last one I played of the actual devices would pro like consistently would be, uh, I would say silver and gold and sapphire were the last ones I I played like constantly like beat the game, uh, and then when it comes to the cards I lean towards Pokemon a little bit more board games, Pokemon too because as you guys know I have them both, but I do enjoy the Pokemon Master Trainer a little bit more I enjoy them both very much you're definitely gonna see dice cast episodes on both of them. But definitely, I'm, like I said, I'm split down the middle. I'd actually like to hear your guys' opinion of what you feel is better or if you're like me, split down the middle in the comment section below. Also, let me know what are your favorite games. Now, to continue on to this, I have already started off the device because this thing makes a god-awful noise which actually scared one of my pups pretty badly. So, as a, you know, courtesy to you guys, I figured I'd just start off. Now, you hear that noise? Picture that, but longer and sharper and just really irritating. So we have an option from five Digimon, starting with Vmon, Hawkmon, Armadillomon, Patamon, and Gautamon. Now this is Vmon's uh, partner's Digivice, Davis, but personally I'm going to go with Patamon, being he's the favorite of the Season 2. Actually, when it comes to Seasons, I would actually say my favorite... Is oddly enough, I would have to go with Digimon Tamers. Just because it really made... There were some annoying characters in that one. And the storyline was dark. I liked it. And it was more... Because in that time, I was always picturing like... Oh, what if I had a Digimon partner in this? Kind of explain what that scenario would be like. Which I loved. Now, I'm also starting with the D2. Oh no, this is the D3. Sorry, I already said D3. The D3 because of the fact I don't have the D the first one. I just have this. Uh, but, you know, I'm hoping to eventually get it, but since I don't have it right now, we'll start with the D3. Now, as you can see from it, uh, you can kind of see just our partner a little walking around. And this is how, and this is where the pedometer part comes in, is that you see how many spaces you have there. As it goes, it brings it down more. Now, over to the map, and I think you guys can see this. Yeah, you can see it pretty good. Uh, there's three points, so you have to do that many steps for each one. At least I think. I can't quite remember. I can't remember if each level has more steps to complete. And I'm also actually going to post a video, or at least a link to a video of the guy who actually beat it. So that way you'll actually see it. Because oh, we're not going to get to the end because it's going to take 
way, way too long. And I just more want to introduce you guys to this in case you're wondering about buying some yourself. Or buying one for yourself. And then we'll determine if you like it or not. So let's move on to the next thing. There is a few things we can do, such as uh, the slot game, which is actually really bad when you think about it, because I'm going to show you. It's kind of like encouraging kids to game. I don't know if this is on the later ones. I'll have to, we'll have to see when we actually uh, show them off. Oh, that's not a good way to start. That's actually going to increase my steps now. That's not... Yeah, that's not good. We're actually more than we were before. Oh, that's bad. Okay, we got we we can't have it start off like that. Oh, oh come on. Ah, okay, that's not a bad one because that makes us so none of our steps go up. It just yeah, it just stays the same because we had a, a hero to stop the villain. Oh no, are we not gonna? Oh, again, it happens. And again, and nothing happens. So we're going to do this, uh, I think, one more time. I'm hoping to get at least one of them. Oh, no. I'm bad at this. Oh, Vimon's been our savior in this. Maybe I should have chose him as a partner. And I don't know if I mentioned it already, but I have the version 1 from as far... Wow. Uh, version 1, as far as I can tell... Just from the base of the design and everything of it. And it makes sense because I remember having this pretty much when it first came out. Oh, that's a good one. That is not a good one. I'm just kind of doing this at random to see hopefully if I can get... Wow, that sucks. Hopefully I can get at least one good one. <sighs> I'm just going to accept it. So if you get... I'm going to just go over it. If you get two of the partners... It brings it down by quite a bit. I think if you get a partner and a Digivice, it brings it down even more. And if you get two e and a Digimon and an egg, it does a good amount. And then two egg gets you an egg. <laughs> That's kind of your bonus. It's hard to get. I think I've gone one other time recently. Now, the part where I say this thing kind of fails to make kids go uh, get up and go, it's because of this. Now, this thing's supposed to have a clip so you actually can go. But as you can see here, I kind of... It's a funny story, actually, about this. It, I used to mess up the screws on the backs of these things all the time as a kid. So my dad eventually just took it off, and I said, you know what, I'm just going to tape it. I don't know what happened to the back. I wish I still had it, because then I could just replace the screw, and it'd probably be worth more today. And also, I probably wouldn't... I, I hope I wouldn't mess up the screw, but... Oh, well. Have to deal with this for now. Now, also, as a little shout-out, I want to congratulate... Well... Thank the person, I should say, uh, who was my 1,000 subscriber, which was Mame Efia. It was actually really funny when I first uh, got it. You know what? My parents can't blame me for the things I do that represent this motion. It's your fault. It's their. It's absolutely their fault. <laughs> um, yeah, so... When she first... Uh, when I first got the 1,000 subscriber, like when she first uh, messaged me... I didn't even realize I hit a thousand subscribers. It just randomly all of a sudden in my emails, I just got a message that said, I'm your 1,000 subscribers, which was hilarious. And then when I got I'm like, seriously? Oh my God, that's awesome. Uh, and then I told her just to, let's not jinx it for now. <laughs> just because I was a little worried because I've seen a lot of people who, when they reach a milestone, it goes down and it goes down more. For example, ETC. Although theirs is probably more than just that. But it still freaked me out. So I wanted to wait until I got to a point where I could say, yes. Yes, I have over a 1,000 subscribers now. Plus, I wanted to wait until my 200 video to actually do some sort of cool celebration. Now, this is going to be tedious, and this is why I say I don't want to put you guys through the misery of uh, doing this for, like, an entire actual game. Because I think that would be a long thing. I mean, if you guys want, I I'll do it. But I think we'll both be in pain at the end of it. So, let's see if we can just get to a point where we... I'm just going to do this quite rapidly. I'm a little scared to knock out the batteries. is why I don't want to go too, too fast. Just want to give you guys a little idea of how this works. I'll probably do until we meet three enemies. Yeah, I think three enemies will be good. Just so you guys get a good handle on it. Because I think the first two are like easy enemies. And then after that, it gets uh, a little more difficult. Let's see where we're at with steps. Now, I don't... 
I don't know if it triggers your first opponent when you get steps, or is it just by random chance? Because I've seen it both ways. Where I was once like shaking this thing for the longest damn time, and I just was not getting anywhere with it. And then I've also shaken it pretty quickly, and I got someone like almost instantly. <laughs> and again, I bring up the fact that this thing really didn't fail to get kids to go out because. I don't. I I did remember clipping into like because it was like a little belt little little uh, clip here. Uh, I would walk around with this thing, but ultimately I'd just be at home doing this. <laughs> so yeah, it didn't really accomplish its goal of being a pedometer too too much. Or it did? Who knows? All right, guys, we finally found our first opponent. <laughs> it took way too long for me to get. The batteries actually popped out in the process of me doing it, so I had to go and get some more tape and cardboard to fit on the back. So we've met our first opponent now, so we can either fight, digi uh use our other party member, like use someone else, but there's only us, so yeah, unfortunately it's only us, um, or escape. And we're obviously going to fight, because it took me for God ever to do it, and now we have to just shake it to get our guy up to a certain power. Though I tend to just shake it just right from the start. There we go. So I got 60. Perfect. So there's our health and there's his health. So his health is pretty low, surprisingly. And yeah, it makes this little annoying noise as it goes. I'm going to try and keep the mic a little distance from it because it is quite loud. Ooh. Well, we haven't taken a hit, so we're good on that. Oh, never mind. That just I just took that back. Ooh. Uh, so now we can choose again to fight. I think we got a pretty good chance. Because he can pretty much only get like... He could get a couple of shots on us. Now I'm a little... I should be worried a bit. But we just need to get one more hit. So I think I'm going to take the chance. We're just going to shake it right away. Just going to shake it. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. We only got 50. I don't even know how. Oh no, he is proving me wrong. Oh, hold on, Patamon, please. Oh, that's not good at all. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that was a close one. That little guy almost died on us. So we got, uh, you get a bonus points for uh, defeating an opponent. So we got. From 6 now to 11. Not bad. Probably if we didn't take a hit, it would have been a little bit better. So let me see now. We can probably give him a medical. No, he doesn't need it. So I guess it's only when he loses does he need that. And now we begin the process all over again. This is why I also said we're only going to do this for the first three, I think. Because, yeah. Like, this would take so, so, so long. Like, oh yeah, I forgot to show you the steps. So that's how long it took me to get there. And you remember we started out at 24,000, uh, 24, yeah, sorry, <laughs> so 24,000, so it took about, about 600, uh, oh, sorry, 630 steps roughly, because I did shake it just a little bit right now, so it took quite a bit to get to our first opponent, now again, I don't know if that's random, or if it starts at a certain point, I, I'm, I'm leaning towards random. Um, you can also find other partners, I believe, on the road. Like, sometimes while your your guy's going, he'll just come across one of the other partners. Or he'll come across a digi egg. Which I don't know how the hell I'm to get it. Because it's confusing a little bit. Because it just says push. And I cannot remember for the life, life, life of me what I actually do. Because it says push, but I'm thinking push what? Okay, so we just found another opponent. Oh, no, he's happy. What did we find? Oh, it's an egg. Okay, so this is a part I don't understand what I'm supposed to push. Push. Okay. It just says push. It doesn't specify what button. Like, I'm so confused about this. I hope... I. You guys, are, I feel like you're going to get pissed off at me in the, <laughs> in the thing. Because I have no idea what I'm supposed to hit. Like, what I'm doing right now, I, I assume is it. Oh. Okay, see? So I have no idea. Yeah, I'm frustrated too, because I have no idea what it is I'm supposed to do with that. That is so weird. 
Like, let me know in the comment section below what I'm doing wrong. I would actually be very curious. Thankfully, this is the only one of the games that actually does have that, if I recall. I think the other ones, it just kind of lets you just pick them up. So we're back to this again, and I will edit a lot of this out. Be right back. All right, so we finally found another opponent. So let's do this. Oh, this is a tougher one. So we're actually going to do... Um, you know what? Yeah, we're going to do it right away. Because uh, I don't want to risk the whole idea that... Oh. Yeah. Oh. Go, 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 go. Ah, I only got 50. So, yeah, as I said, I don't want to risk because I remember this one being much tougher. Yeah, see, it's got a lot more health and that. So, I don't want to risk um, dying so quickly in this. Although, at the same time, it'd be good to lose the fight because then I could show you how they heal up. But, yeah, I just don't want to take any chances. Nice. Oh, one shot hit. Oh, that had to be painful. <laughs> I love how he just can't just take my egg. I wonder if he, if I lost that too, and I lost it in the egg, uh, Digivolving with the egg. Do I lose the egg? Now, for the third fight, I'm going to show you another way to play this game. And it's if you have two of them, or, you know, a friend. And as you can see here, I have two of the same color. Now, this isn't because I bought two of the same color. No, it's this one I think was my original because I remember I also had a bad habit of marking the screen with like, well, as you can see here. And this was my friend who got it this weird yellowish. I don't know if you, well, you can probably see now in comparison, uh, the yellowish tint. So we're going to actually show you how to battle with two of them. And I chose Vimon for the opponent because might as well I'll choose one as my favorite and then one for the actual partner that goes with this. So we're going to quickly go, and I think it's over here. I'm actually going to see my guy's status, so let's just take a look. Uh, Digivolve, Digi-Egg. Okay, no, he seems to be okay. Let's just make sure. No, okay, he doesn't need any medical, so this should be an even fight. So we're going to go over to Versus. And obviously we're going to do that. So you connect them like so. And hold it until it says you can let go. It should just be kind of quick. That noise I am so sorry about. <laughs> Let's see. I think we just got... Oh, I see. I know what I did wrong. There we go. Oh. Okay, we're back in action here. I just didn't add enough tape, it seems, to... or And also a little bit of cardboard to really make it work. So now I remember what I have to do. I have to hit it and then hit connect when I think I'm ready. There we go. So now they should just shoot at each other. <laughs> and again, begins the really irritating noise. So they just pretty much just wail in each other until one of them wins. And I think it's just based on a bit of luck or how well you trained it. Because remember, this guy's had a like two victories now. This guy has not at all. Yeah, so it's more than likely based off of how many wins you already have. So now we can go over to, uh, let's see here, where should it be? Status, here we go. So we hit on him. And now we, uh, hmm. oh, there we go. Yeah, so Digipower shows here. And it shows how many victories. And then for him, it should just say none. And I think with him now, we can actually show off the medical. Nope, okay, so it's only when you lose two, I guess, one of them on this thing. So that's pretty much the basics of this toy. It was really fun as a kid, but as you see, there's not a whole lot to it. It's more just a basic sort of pedometer virtual pet toy, but you don't really feed your pet. Uh, the only parts of it that's similar to a virtual pet is where you have a little character instead of it simply just measuring the steps you've taken and everything like that. It was a really good way to make kids go and get up and go, and they still do make some. I think they made some for the anniversary of Try. Uh, the Digimon Adventure Try. Um, but really, ultimately, ultimately, it didn't really hold up, in my opinion. Because they, they're still a big fan to everyone. And I have a couple of them, actually, which I'm going to show off in later videos. Um, 
by really I mean you don't really see kids walk around with these things so unfortunately you can kind of take it as a bit of a fail it's not like Pokemon Go which easily beat it but to be fair they did beat Pokemon's little version for a while which they had the uh Pikachu Go uh, little, like it was a little I can't remember what it's called exactly it's like a Pikachu Tamagotchi it did beat that I do remember it being a little bit more popular than that one but and it also had more stuff you could do obviously so it beat that but then it, again compared to Pokemon Go it would not hold up no there would be no way They'd have to do some serious things with it. I really hope they do a Digimon, like, sort of Go-based game. That'd be awesome. Here's hoping. But for now, this is pretty much all we got. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'm really, again, thankful for all the support to the channel. It's been so great. I didn't think I'd get to 1,000 subscribers. And I hope this stays like that. And, again, let me know if there's anything else you guys would like to suggest um, in terms of games that made you get up and go. I do have a few. Some you could probably guess what they would be. Some you might not. So I'm really excited to show off the rest of them. I can easily see me doing as of right now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven episodes. So, but of course I'm going to collect more as I go along. So again, recommend any that you guys can think of in the comment section below. As always, this has been Kingdom with Let's Go King. Uh, as always, like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more. See you guys next time. Bye!